Nigerian army sleeps Why Simon Ekpa's guerrilla fighters overrun Southeast. According to this report, they said Nigeria military don't go sleep. Simon Ekpa don't take over Southeast. Okay, let's hear from the person who is talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Military authorities in Nigeria appear to be sleeping and helpless. Why Simon Ekpa, the Prime Minister of Biafra government in Ezai, and his guerrilla fighters overrun the Southeast? Though this is happening despite persistent promise by General Musa Christopher, the chief of defense staff, that the Finland based agitator will be arrested and prosecuted for orchestrating violent agitation in the region. Newsband newspaper reported that in June 2024, General Musa Christopher, while speaking on Chinese television, accused the Finnish government of shading barrister Simon Epa. He lamented over the activities of the separatist leader in the southeast, demanding for his arrest and prosecution. The CDS called on the Nigerian government to take decisive action, including exploring diplomatic options to tackle the menace of the, of the group. He said, we have report, re repeatedly complained about the issue of Simon Ekba. He is in Finland and the Finnish government is giving him all the support and he's doing what he's doing. The comment he is making, people are being killed and nothing is being done. This is democracy. If the European Union is supporting democracy and this is happening and they are not taking action, then they don't mean well for Nigeria. We have said that is clear we have said that in clear times. We need to we need to diplomatically find measures of getting him out of wherever it is that he is doing. He must be arrested. He must be prosecuted. Look at it from the other way. Assuming he is in Nigeria, he is doing that to the Finnish government. You think the European Union will allow that to happen? They definitely will not. But despite this threat by the Nigerian authorities to deal with the uh, uh, Simon Ekbar, the Biafra government in Eza, Prime Minister, seems to be waxing stronger daily. Sources familiar with the operations of the movement authoritatively told Newsband that Simon Ekbar and his collaborators in overseas have amassed weapons big enough to overrun the Nigerian security forces in the southeast region. The source warned that the Nigerian government must not sleep before things will completely go out of control. I can tell you that danger is a looking. Simon Ekpa and his collaborators in Europe and America have been able to amass weapons big enough to chase out security force of Nigeria from Igbo land. The government must act now before things will get out of control, one of the sources told this paper. Another source told this media that millions of dollars have been mapped out for recruitment of more gorilla, uh, gorilla fighters and establishment of training camps. The source said there is a heavy cash inflow from secret donors. I mean, this money is amounting to millions of dollars. The donations will be used to recruit more fighters and set up training camps. Meanwhile, to collaborate, this intelligence, Ekpa on Sunday announced that a new command of Biafra Liberation Army has been born, BLM. To show how vigorous Simon Ekpa has become, on Monday night, Nigeria Open University in Emine Mbano, local government area of Imo State, was raised by the fighters of Biafra Liberation Army, BLN. The university was destroyed by BLN operatives after TVC News reported that 
some internally displaced persons from the north will be trained at the facility for various skills by the federal government. Videos of the attack was posted on the official ex handle of Simon Ekba. According to Ekba, such facility in Igbo land cannot be used to train Boko Haram members. Bia Friends has rejected any training camp for Boko Haram. In former Imo state, they made a video of wheat. Please pardon me. It said Bia Friends have rejected any training camp for Boko Haram. So they made a video of with a low key message to the enablers. So they called them brothers. The unity of Bia Friends under uh, Biafra government has been sending shockwaves to the terrorist states and their enablers in Biafra land. Biafra land is not a place to train Boko Haram on skis accusations. Simon Ekpa said in a post on his ex handle on Tuesday. However, when Newsband reached out to General Onyema Wajiko over the latest attack, at Mbano, he did not respond to curse. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye.